हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल दिस इज अली जय वस्तानी आई एम अ विजुअल आर्टिस्ट फोटोग्राफर एंड मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंटली अ टीचर सो इन दिस वीडियो आई विल एक्सप्लेन यू हाउ टू स्टार्ट अ ऑनलाइन क्लास ऑन जूम विथ योर स्टूडेंट्स एंड शेयर द क्लास लिंक विद दैम दिस वीडियो वुड बी डिवाइडेड इन टू टू पार्ट फर्स्ट वुड बी फॉर टीचर्स सेकेंड पार्ट वुड बी फॉर स्टूडेंट्स now you will find a lot of videos on internet which explains zoom uh, and how to set up zoom and the thing with those videos are they are very long and uh, complicated they have a lot of options so i'm going to make it very simple very quick for the teachers to set up a class and share the class link and details with their students yeah so for teachers you just have to go to this website it's called zoom.us Once you visit this website, there will be a section here, resources. Click on download Zoom client. Once you click on this, now this gives you an option of downloading Zoom client for meetings. So click download here. Once you click download here, it will automatically download a file, a installer in your download section. I have already downloaded this, so I am going to double click on this now and show you the installation. Just press run. Now wait for it. Yeah, so once you it's installed, it will give you this option of joining a meeting or signing in. So I'll press sign in, and now it gives you an option of signing in through your email and password, creating a, a I don't know, creating a new account. So my advice is to just click on. signing in with facebook or signing in with gmail uh, this is much more easier so sign in i, I in my case i signed in from facebook and this window pops up just press open zoom log so there you go this is exactly how zoom um, looks when you first scroll it so once you reach this window there are two options to start a meeting one is new meeting and other is scheduled meeting so let's have a look at new meeting first just click on new meeting and there you go your meeting starts instantly so now in this meeting you will have a lot of options you can say join uh, with computer audio just click here so I have actually taped my webcam, so you can't see me right now. But when uh, this starts, you can you see a lot of options here. You can mute your audio, you can stop your video, or you can invite people to it, manage participants, share screen, chat, record reactions, whatever. And then, how to invite your students to this meeting? Just click on invite and click copy invitation. One you have, once you have copied invitation, just get rid of this window, and you might, as a faculty, you might have a WhatsApp group or a Facebook group or any other group with your students. So just go to whatever that group is. See, I have a group with my students here. It's on Facebook. So what I'll do is I'll go to the right section. I'll right click it and I'll paste the entire invitation here. So the entire invitation is pasted here. So once my students see this, they'll. Uh, they can use these details to uh, to join my meeting join my online class so uh, now let's go back to the other option which is schedule a meeting so for scheduling a meeting just click here and this will open so you can change the topic of the meeting as per your course or whatever you like for example i teach a course which is called media advertising and i'm i'll be taking the class on tuesday 17 most probably 10 am the class duration would be most probably 2 hours and you can click on recurring meeting if you don't want to uh, do this go through this hassle over and over again and generate automatically i prefer this it should have a meeting password the host video Should be off. You can turn it on later. Participant video is off. They can turn it on later. 
this option is the best option telephone and computer audio and for the calendar i would prefer you to click on google calendar because everybody has a gmail id so then just click on schedule it will automatically schedule your meeting and open into calendar so here is my calendar the everything is in this calendar like the meeting link the timings the invitation with meeting id and password so i'm going to save it So for student, it's really simple. These uh, these are the tabs I had. See, here is the meeting I just scheduled. This is my meeting. I can click on Show Meeting Invitation. It has all the details which I've already copied here to my students. I've shared with them as well. Uh, these are the details, right? So all I need to do is all any any student. You just need to just use this meeting ID and password to sign in and join your faculty meeting or if you are uh, using a desktop or a laptop just click on this link and it will automatically do the work for you you don't have to go through the meeting ID and password anymore so if you are using mobile phone or tablet or you know all the smartphones and all so you know you should have this meeting ID and password with you and download the app before joining the meeting and I would prefer the students to go through these, these online sessions through their desktops and laptops if it's uh, uh, if it's available and they can use it. Now, furthermore, there are a lot of options on um, uh, Zoom, but um, you know you don't have to really learn all those options. They're very uh, complicated. But if you want to learn. You should uh, know all these options as a faculty. You can explore it later if you just start with off with Zoom initially. So in on the Zoom website, you just have to sign in. And in my case, I've signed in with Facebook, so I'll click sign in with Facebook. Okay. So it's uh, yeah. So here is my entire profile and settings and all so here you see you have further more options which you did not had here here you have uh, limited options right but this, this is your complete profile and everything it's basically web based zoom so there are a lot of options here you can click on webinars now webinars is an entire different science you know to start a webinar you should uh, you should be prepared for a webinar and it, it is it, I'll, I'll try to you know um, to uh, make another tutorial on a webinar but you can find a lot of tutorials on webinar at uh, uh, YouTube but for now I would just see just say that you can explore these options as well and the quickest way of doing it what I told you is that start a new meeting and start off right away instantly with your students or schedule it for later So I hope this video was helpful to you and uh, I would like you to share it with the faculty members and students around you and uh, please do subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell and uh, stay tuned for more videos. Thank you.